Hey guys, this is Ethan Burke, and uh, I'm going to show you how to set up the TriCaster Mini today. So to get started, we're just going to go ahead and take the case itself, and we're going to put everything out uh, like I did. I just got it all laid out here. Um, so basically, I'm just going to tell you what it is, and then we're going to go on how to get it going for a live event, uh, whether it's football, soccer, softball, whatever. So you got the TriCaster itself, and then that comes with the power cord. I already got that plugged in, but it goes into this upper little slot right here, and it says like DC in, and then you got the switchboard itself, and then you have a monitor, and then you have the cord for the switchboard, and you have a display cord for the monitor, and then you have a mouse and a keyboard. So now to go ahead and get this start up, go ahead and plug in the power cords for the monitor and the, the TriCaster, and then we're gonna go ahead and take the keyboard and mouse and get those hooked up as well. And they just go into these two USB 2.0 ports, uh, on the back of the TriCaster Mini, and if you can't remember 2.0, it's, it's the gray one. The non-important things will go into the gray, like, which is like the keyboard and the mouse, and then the important things, like the switchboard, are going to go into blue, which is the USB 3.0. Basically, the only difference between those is like how fast they transfer speeds and data. Okay, so once you get that hooked up, you're going to take your display cord, you can put the HDMI end into the monitor, and then you're going to take the other end and put it into the TriCaster. Now, it does not go into the white one. Do not put it into the white one. It goes into this gray one over here in the bottom right corner of the TriCaster. If you put it into the white one, it's going to mess everything up, and you're going to have to reset the TriCaster a bunch of times, and you're never going to get what you want on the monitor. So go ahead and screw that in. And then once you get that in, uh, go ahead and turn the TriCaster on, which you do that by just hitting this button right here. And then while we wait for that guy to boot up, we're going to uh, plug in the switchboard. So it's pretty self-explanatory. One, the thicker end goes into the, tri the switchboard itself, and then the other end goes into a uh, USB 3.0 on the TriCaster. Now we'll just wait for this guy to come on. In an actual uh, event situation, you you then go ahead and hook up your SDIs to the TriCaster so you can get that video from your camera. But I'm not going to show you that now because I'm pretty sure everyone can plug in a cord into the TriCaster from the camera. And then you're, you're going to be greeted by this Control-Alt-Delete screen, so you're just going to go ahead and hit that. Don't type anything in for the password, just hit Enter, and it'll let you in. And then we'll wait again for it to pop up. Okay, once it pops back up, you're going to go to this new new tech TriCaster uh, icon right here. Um, but most of the time, it's going to pop on its own. But if it doesn't, then you'll hit that icon. Like, see here, it's it's going now. And then we'll just wait for that to come up. Okay, once you get once you get to this screen. Uh, you're going to go to your session, and right now for the mini, the only one we have is this Black Knight Productions. Uh, so that's what you're going to go to every single time for now. And you're just going to click on that, and then you're going to hit Live, and you're going to hit Start Live Production. And then once this happens, your switchboard should start lighting up a bunch of different colors and all that good stuff. And you'll be greeted with this screen with like a whole bunch of uh, programs and preview buttons which is kind of like the, the switchboard itself. It's just a virtual set of that. And, and then it pops up like this. So basically on here, you got the same thing as your switchboard. You have all your preview and programs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, will all be your camera inputs. And then the graphics will be GFX, and then DDR is uh, the commercial. But uh, for all you need to know for this TriCaster is how to switch your uh, camera inputs. So one, two, and three, four will probably be all you use, and you can just hit one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, um, and then so like if you have it on camera four, and then you switch it with the the switch, and it'll switch camera four to camera one. Um, but that's basically how you set up a TriCaster, guys.